Hi, my name is Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com and welcome to this week's brand new uh, fundamental and technical supply and demand analysis on Forex and gold. And uh, again, brand new being a brand new year 2022. I hope you all had a safe one and a peaceful and restful and blessed one. And so, yeah, really the markets are now getting back to, um, you know, back to normal this week and uh, all the uh, all the money starting to again flow in monetary policy and the like um, are now being decided so um, let's get into um, the analysis and uh, just before we do in case you're new uh, even if you're not new definitely subscribe if you haven't um, and press that like button please as it helps to get the content out uh, and it helps the YouTube algorithm and uh, Trading 180, our process Trading 180 is to apply our fundamental analysis to establish our directional bias and then apply technical analysis which is supply and demand strategies like uh, daily supply and demand zones as well as capture pain relief and stop hunt, uh, stop hunting to time entries, risk management and establish profit targets. So um, this week just to get into I guess the uh, the week ahead before we get into in debt fundamentals and the technicals uh, the spotlight will be taken uh, by inflation data from the US and China and um, US retail sales and consumer confidence in China trade balance um, other important releases include US Eurozone uh, production number factory production numbers Japan current account and producer prices and Australia trade balance and retail sales also it says the Bank of Korea, which we don't really trade. So there's a there's a few things uh, going on this week, and we're going to get into I guess uh, the upcoming week and really what happened on Friday with regards to the uh, jobs report as well as uh, some other stuff. So uh, for the US, so starting off on the dollar index and the dollar index. It's just a measure of dollar strength um, against the basket of currencies like the euro, the yen and the pound. And um, we look at the dollar index to just see overall again dollar strength or weakness and um, use this as some uh, confluence in our dollar trades if you're trading dollar. So uh, what we saw on uh, Friday really was the uh, US jobless rate falls as wages jump adding pressure on the Federal Reserve. So payrolls rose by 199,000 in December which was less than half of the projection but employment fell, employment rate fell below 4% and wage growth exceeded the forecast. So uh, the US uh, unemployment rate fell below 4% and wages jumped last month, adding evidence of a tight labor market that's expected to help spur the Federal Reserve interest rate liftoff as soon as March, despite disappointing payroll growth. And, um, and so the rate hikes generally a central bank rate hike will uh, appreciate a currency so yes the number was disappointing but um it seems like there was other positive uh, data surrounding um jobs as well as um, inflation so um the Fed are probably still going to be on track. So the jobless rate dropped to 3.9% and monthly wage growth accelerated in December. A labor market, uh, the, sorry, department report showed Friday and the 199,000 increase in non-farm payrolls followed up with revisions in the prior two months and the labor force participation rate was unchanged. So again, still positive for dollar rate hikes and also as well we have uh, feds daily favors gradual rate hikes faster balance sheet moves so prefer separate start to rate hike shrinking balance sheets and sees balance sheet adjustment over one or two rate hikes so um uh again we got one of the uh, smartest people in the room talking about the fed you know uh, her, her opinion on what the Fed should do and uh, I think although disappointing numbers the, the the dollar is still a buy maybe not necessarily into next week because there might be some um, a bit of a pullback but I think in the medium to long term in the lead up to uh, you know March's uh, decision uh, April's decision I think uh, the, the dollar may continue to be a buy so um, technically 
um, this level has been touched several times. So for me, um, I don't like when levels get touched. Uh, the more times the level is touched, the weaker it becomes. This becomes common if we're talking about, you know, this being a bargain. So I think the bargain price would be really at these uh, fresher areas of demand. So um, if prices do come down to this area here, my di overall directional bias is still to the upside. But I think if uh, prices can come down to this 95 area, 95.20 area, um, and we see some positive price, um, bullish price, then um, that would be actually nice confluence on some dollar crosses like the dollar yen, dollar Swiss, dollar CAD. Well, actually, I wouldn't say dollar CAD because um, I'm not really long dollar CAD, but dollar yen and dollar Swiss for sure. Um, now, there are some supply zones in and around this area. Uh, which I will uh, draw in case you do want to get short on this currency pair. Um, I say currency pair, but you want to get short on the dollar, right? Uh, for whatever reason, if you're looking for pullbacks and then you're looking for a short trade there. But my bias is to the uh, the, the, the the upside. So any pullbacks, I think, uh, to, to around that 95.2 area is going to be a decent buy or some decent buy confluence. Again, if we see uh, that same confluence on the dollar uh, yen or, or dollar Swiss. And moving on to the dollar yen dollar yen um, has really made uh, you know some higher highs higher lows and uh, many of the guys in our private members uh, discord group who use our uh, fundamental analysis spreadsheet has seen really the uh, the benefits of the fundamental analysis spreadsheet and we've seen uh, really one of the top uh, divergence trading pairs the dollar yen um, Number one, the base currency being the dollar and the quote currency being the yen. One representing general strength and uh, eight representing general weakness. You pretty much see what's been happening. And it's been one versus eight for a while. And uh, the guys in the group will attest to that. And uh, really what we've seen is pretty much higher highs and higher lows. Uh, the dollar has been the stronger out of the two for a very long time, according to our uh, uh, spreadsheet in fact I think it's been like that for the whole year and you, basically what you've seen is um, you know the uh, uh, an upward trend on our um, our uh, fundamental analysis spreadsheet so uh, this has played out really nicely again a bit of a pullback to these zones gonna be for me anyway buying opportunities the uh, the yen um, isn't necessarily um, again a, a, a buy yen dragged down by New Year optimism to weakest level in five years. So J uh, Japan's currency fell as much as 0.8 percent to 116.18 per dollar. Diverging monetary policy may fuel more weakness. Diverging monetary policy meaning that the uh, the Bank of Japan are not looking to hike rates at any point uh, this year, whereas the Federal Reserve. Are, right so when you see diverging monetary policy um, and obviously if you're part of the group and you uh, see one versus eight which is a really strong the strongest uh, strength divergence currency divergence uh, play then really you're just waiting for pullbacks and we know the uh, the path of least resistance when it comes to looking for um, uh, 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 buy trades right we're not looking at sell trades we're just looking at buying and uh, riding the trend higher now um, again nobody knows where that will you know turn out but um, that's really where the path least resistance is and uh, I do see some uh, some uh, some confluence in that area as well so that 114 uh, 200 pip move probably to the downside will be actually a, a decent area to look for potential um, uh, potential long trades if it can get down there there is actually in fact I just spotted some hidden demand as well there is an outside candle there it's a hidden demand into that zone but I think that 114 70 114 80s are really um, you know uh, is really the zone to potentially look for any kind of uh, long trades to the upside and uh, again if you do want to get involved um, in our private mentoring uh, group and get access to not only the supply and demand course but capture pain relief trading strategy the stop hunt manipulation trading strategy 
um, the members discord group weekly live group calls AMAs that ask me anything and access to all archived videos which I produce every pretty much every day in-depth fundamental and risk sentiment analysis videos um, in the archive access to fundamental and risk sentiment analysis spreadsheet which I've just showed you uh, one of the tabs and custom trading view uh, candlestick entries as well as uh, custom RSI moving average settings the enrollment starts on the 10th of January 2022 for a limited time um, and you can access the uh, the group for really if you do an annual for less than uh, a pound a day and there's also a lifetime membership or a free month membership so um, definitely check the website out and get a bit more information and start your new year um, you know better than maybe your last one and apply some fundamental analysis and really the best fundamental analysis on the net nothing comes close to what I uh, provide I can I can definitely, uh, with uh, a high degree of certainty, uh, promise you that. Anyways, let's get on to the um, the next currency pair, which is the dollar Swiss. And the dollar Swiss is something that is a pair that I'm really looking to get involved in. Uh, just missed the entry, and I say missed the entry, but I didn't really miss it. It just didn't come down as far as I wanted it to. Um, looking for an extra ten or twenty pips. Um, to come down and basically prices ended up going a lot higher from there but the trade is still valid if it does come down to that 91 round number um, again my bias is to the long side so um, hopefully we can get a bit of a pullback down to this zone here just below that 91 round number before I look for any long trades if not I think this area this uh, this area here is going to be really nice. This is a 90, uh, 5, 99, sorry, 905 area to 901. I think that's going to be a really nice area to look for any kind of long trades. Um, again, the Swiss franc are not looking to hike rates anytime soon, but there is a demand zone here as well. A decent demand zone, but um, I think the uh, the lower, if prices again, sentiment, short term sentiment for the dollar does start to. Um, uh, we can then I do think that that's buying opportunities and according to our spreadsheet again one versus seven seven representing some weakness and one representing um, you know the strongest currency uh, we should see overall uh, strength again not too sure if it's going to be this week per se of course we need to wait for pullbacks but overall that's where my bias is to the upside at least over the next uh, few uh, weeks and months if you do want to get short on the currency of course now would be the time as we head into that uh, as we headed into that uh, supply zone but for me uh, again I'm not really looking at um, uh, buying the uh, Swiss franc versus the dollar buying the dollar versus the Swiss franc uh, looking at the dollar CAD and the dollar CAD again I think uh, um, this is a probably a more difficult pair to trade I'm not really interested in this pair fundamentally although we did come up right into this uh, supply zone came in really nice uh, um, trade if you were looking to buy the Canadian dollar over the US dollar but from a uh, fundamental perspective I think both currencies um, where is this dollar CAD now I had it here dollar CAD right um, is one versus four Four. Now, yes, we understand that you know one is the stronger and four is the weaker. Um, but again, with a um, uh, with the uh, sentiment towards uh, dollar strength and dollar hiking, you've pretty much seen again the move to the upside. Um, I think the Canadian dollar, and I actually have, you know, the Canadian dollar is, is one of the stronger pairs, even though it's ranked number four, the central bank is looking to also hike rates. So um, the divergence isn't as strong as it would be, for example, with something like the dollar yen or the dollar Swiss. So uh, for me, again, probably either buy trades here or sell trades which is probably you just missed that one if you're looking at a sell trade again it's not necessarily uh, trade calls or anything like that but um 
if you were looking to get short you probably missed it if you're looking for a pullback into that area there I'd probably wait for maybe the higher zone or even something above that zone before looking at getting uh, short as the best areas to look for short trades if you're looking at long trades and buying the US dollar then I think that zone there that 126 125 84 is a decent area to look for some long trades uh, moving on to the pound dollar and the pound dollar again um, pretty, pretty much some maybe some short term um, uh, negativity on the uh, on the dollar, but I think overall the path of these resistance should be should be to the downside. Um, the UK uh, inflation concerns hit the highest on record for businesses, so I think inflation necessarily isn't um, solely um, high inflation isn't solely a problem for the UK, but um, I do think that it does put pressure on. Um, the Bank of England to continue to hike. The only problem is, is that um, the UK economy may not be able to support those hikes. So before looking to buy the pound, um, I'm really looking for positive uh, economic data. So I'm on the fence with the pound. I'm not neither, you know, uh, bullish or bearish uh, at the moment um, on the pound. But um, I think with the uh, narrative around the uh, the Fed still looking to high rates, I do think that you could see some downside potential um, in uh, with this pair. So again, this week potentially, or just a little bit higher, maybe into the uh, 160 we've got some decent support and resistance as well here so um, I think anywhere around this zone should be a decent uh, short trade within that supply those supply zones so uh, let's see what happens but me not necessarily a pair that I'm looking at um, again if you do want to get long there is an opportunity I think probably further down into uh, probably the bottom end of that uh, demand zone. I think the uh, one 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 sorry one point three three area um, one three three eight four. Yeah, so that would be really the zone to potentially look for any kind of long trades if you're looking to buy the uh, the pound. Looking at the euro dollar, and uh, again, my bias really is to the short side. And um, looking at the euro, um, again, uh, just like the UK, the euro area inflation unexpectedly hits record test for the euro, European Central Bank. So the consumer prices increased 5% in December, and it is saw 4.8. Confidence in the region also dipped amid emergence of Omicron. So just like you know, the UK, um, Europe have uh, problems with containing Omicron, maybe more so than the um, than than the UK. So um, if they don't get their economy going, um, then Europe are going to be in trouble, um, probably more stagflation. Now, again, looking at our fundamental analysis spreadsheet, um, if you're looking at the euro dollar, euro dollar is a sell and let me just scroll up a little bit so here we are euro dollar one of the uh, better divergences six which is a weaker currency versus one uh, which is the dollar which is the stronger currency so the bias really should be to the downside and um, it is ultimately to the downside doesn't mean that prices can't go higher in the short term but for me i'm looking for pullbacks into fresh supply zones for the downside looks like there might be a nice little stop hunt above that area as well into that 114 area so let's see what happens with that um, if you are looking to buy the euro then i think probably this whole area really would be considered demand uh, um not pretty on the chart i know but um when you get a chart like that the best thing to do is to kind of break that down um, and look for um, either daily uh, support and resistance zones or you can look for intraday support and resistance within that area of demands but i think that the cheaper area is obviously going to be down here the best area the 112 111s for a buy fresh areas if you look to the left you can see it's been level has been touched several times look to the left here level level area has been touched several times but if you look below that area you've got a nice fresh zone so if you are looking to buy the euro maybe you want to ignore these areas and look for you know the fresher area of demand before looking at getting long but um 
buying a euro is not something that I'm willing to do, especially against the uh, the US dollar. So um, for me, again, just looking for pullbacks, looking to get buy the dollar at a better price if I can, and look for uh, some short trades. Right, that's really where I think the path of least resistance is going to be. So um, you know, and that's really kind of confirmed by the uh, fundamental analysis uh, spreadsheet. So looking towards now the Aussie dollar and the Aussie dollar, um, again, I did have a, a, um, a video matter of fact that I uh, posted uh, about a week ago uh, with regard was on YouTube and uh, it's the uh, analysis that I did for the private members that I did release to the public and I was saying that Path of least resistance on this currency pair is going to be to the downside. So you can uh, have a look at that video 2022 analysis and um, yeah, pretty much played out as expected this week. Um, uh, I, I think again, the path of least resistance again should be to the downside. So again, you're probably looking at uh, pullbacks into supply zones, right? Pullbacks into supply zones. And then, uh, and then continue to potentially look for short trades. I do think uh, probably the fresher area of supply, if you get that back up to that 0 0.73 area is the best area. Uh, levels that have been touched once are okay, so twice is also okay as well. But let's see what happens. But again, I think, uh, you know, when you look at, you know, the uh, fundamentals, um, and the, uh, the fact that the Australian dollar isn't doing great uh, with their lockdowns, I think, again, the path of this resistance should be to the downside eventually. Uh, and then finally, moving on to gold and gold um, with the dollar not doing, uh, you know, great. I think this week, short term sentiment, you could see some positive moves surrounding gold. I'm surprised, in fact, that gold really hasn't reacted um more to uh, inflation concerns but uh it could eventually of course it could but um with gold uh, we've had uh gold heads for biggest uh loss in six weeks as treasury yields rise so uh bullion just capped its biggest annual decline of 20 since 2015 um and gold extends losses uh, um, heading for the biggest decline in six weeks as treasury yields pushed higher so um, the reason why they're mentioning treasury yields is because treasury yields are generally seen as um, a safe haven play and if um, you know if, if you want to put your money into any kind of uh, a safe haven asset um, then you want to put your money into a safe haven asset generally that maybe returns some sort of yield right so uh, treasury bonds money might might be coming out of gold and into treasury bonds as yields are rising um, so risk sentiment on the first day of trading lifted the treasury yields and u.s equities while the greenback strengthened volumes remain thin and major markets right so they were shut for the holidays and that was like the 3rd of january but let's see what happens with gold going uh, forward personally i do think that um gold should 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 typically fundamentally should want to go higher right um so because of because gold generally is a hedge against inflation so we should want to see gold go to the upside whether it will or not is is another thing right but um but i think if if the dollar does head higher as well yields start to go higher um and inflation starts to get capped then that should that may have a negative effect on gold but in i think maybe the short term you might see prices go higher but if inflation starts to come down and the u.s economy uh starts to again um uh, starts to grow and continues to grow then I think generally gold is uh, a potential sell and uh, if you are looking at sell trades again looking at this area here or this area nice fresh area of supply if you're looking for buy trades probably the fresher area of demand in and around here I think would be a really nice area or maybe even just around that 117 uh, so 117 or 1760 area um, for a potential buy. Yeah, I do think that's actually quite nice. Nice little CPR zone there uh, for those that know. Anyways, guys, that's it for this week. Again, just a quick reminder that we do have the 
access to the supply and demand course and it's not just supply and demand you get mentoring from me and apply fundamental analysis very advanced fundamental analysis the like that you will not see anywhere else on youtube or tiktok or any kind of social media and um, start your 2022 year off um, with a bang joining a really great group of uh, traders and um, let's see uh, whether we can um, get you to where you want to be in your trading there is hard work by the way it's, it's not going to be easy it's not going to be something that you can learn in a couple of days like everyone else um, everything else you're really in the hardest the most difficult um, uh, profession one of them in the world so what makes you think that it's just going to be you know it's going to take you a day or two or a week or two to learn there is a lot of hard work a lot of dedication so if you're not one of those people who's willing to work hard and dedicate yourself to learning fundamental analysis and everything that comes with trading even your you know your, your psych trading psychology etc then uh, then trading really isn't for you and you're wasting your time uh, but if you are dedicated then um, why not give me a, uh, a try and um, again I will uh, try to uh, make you a profitable trader through mentoring and um, and a lot of hard work anyways guys take care and uh, look forward to working with you if you decide to join if not I do wish you all the best and uh, speak to you all soon and have a great weekend. Hi, my name's Leon Rowe, currency trader and trading coach at trading180.com and I've been getting uh, quite a lot of uh, emails and uh, private messages uh, asking for, I guess, a bit more information as to um, the Discord private members uh, trading group that I provide. So I thought I would go through the... Uh, the channels and all the information that I provide so you can make a better decision as to whether to join if this is for you or whether this is uh, something that you're not really interested in. So um, yes, let's start off on the Discord channel and uh, Discord is just a platform that we use and once you come uh, decide to join um, after watching this video, uh, potentially, hopefully, um, then you're greeted with all these channels here. So what we're going to do is work our way down through all the channels which provide uh, uh, some great information and essential information uh, for you to really change the way that you trade and get the results that you're looking for. So. Um, You'll enter into the welcome channel and then uh, work your way down uh, into the uh, new members uh, 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 video where you must watch this please and that kind of explains a few things about the group. Also we have a disclaimer channel, obviously you have to read that as well as the refunds and cancellation. Now before you uh, even decide to join, um, we have the um, terms and conditions on the website. Please agree to those terms and conditions before joining. If you don't agree with anything on the terms and conditions as well as the refunds and cancellation policy, then please do not join. You have to agree with that before you, uh, before you join. The password words uh, channel is um, the displays the passwords because the course as well as certain material is password protected so um, click on that and you will see the, the, the latest password so going to the supply and demand uh, course starting off at number one and when you're going through the course you know you're advised to literally go through the numbers right just work your way down numerically um, and um, yeah that's pretty much how you will um, get all the information uh, and really get the course so clicking on uh, the supply and demand zone trading uh, link which is right here and it'll take you to uh, the, this page after you have <clears throat> Uh, entered into the password and um, yeah so the, 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 the full course is here you have the playlist um, here as well so we've got all the videos here as well as um, the gallery as well which uh, shows you how to um, uh, plot your supply and demand zones as well 
So all the information you need and the course is right there. Now, um, going on to uh, number two, which is the RSI uh, indicator extreme entry confluence. So we use the RSI um, relative strength index as uh, some extra confluence when identifying the strongest levels of uh, supply and demand. And um, once you click on that and enter the password, you'll be taken to this page where you have the videos um, that uh, will explain exactly how we use the um, the RSI. Moving on to the trading um, chart, trading view chart tools and indicator settings. Now I use trading view to plot my um, to plot my uh, charts and do my technical analysis. Although you don't have to, it is advantageous that you uh, do use trading view. There is a free version and there's also a paid version. If you can afford the paid version, brilliant. Um, but you don't have to. Also, um, you can use any other trading platform, MT4, MT5. There are traders in the group that use, lots of traders in the group that don't use TradingView and they are uh, you know, very profitable. So it's not a case of um, the platform will make you profitable or not. It's um, the information um, that I provide and um, you can use whatever platform you like, but I use TradingView and uh, there are some indicators that I provide that are TradingView specific. So if you want those indicators, um, the entry indicator, for example, and some, you know, the RSI setting as well, um, uh, if you want to use those on trading view then you I mean if you want to use those, then you have to use them on trading view unfortunately um, entry stops and targets as well so click on that link and it will take you to the entry stops and targets um, uh, page right so we've got some videos here and this is really all you need to know with regards to how I enter a, a place where I place my stop losses and um, and um, profit targets and where there's trade management and there is an extra channel called the volume divergence convergence trade entry method and uh, that involves um, daily divergence um, trade entries and it is a great method for using uh, the daily and weekly time frame charts to um, for for entries and um, again if you want to use this you have to have a, a trading view at least a free trading view um, uh, charts in order to get the volume divergence indicator that I provide um, Going back to uh, number six is the trade process channel. So in the trade process channel, I will, you know, this, this shows you pretty much the uh, checklist that you'll need to identify strong levels of supply and demand uh, before we enter and um, really our trade trigger. So it's just a reference um, in case you're a bit unsure after watching the and studying the course basically how to enter into trades and again like a little reference that you will need um, we've got the supply and demand uh, template channel so I show examples here of really the best trade setup so what you can do if you're unsure about again a trade setup you can come here and I have uh, charts here that show you where and how to identify applying the rules that you've just learned in the course to um, to uh, identify the strongest areas potentially of supply and demand. I also have a supply and demand feedback channel where um, I provide feedback for uh, for traders, and um, so traders will can put in you know their uh, their feedback, and I will basically provide videos uh, for them and um, and uh, for you too, right? And then I have. Uh, Lastly, in the supply and demand section, I have a trade entries time frame spreadsheet, which uh, identifies um, really the best um, uh, uh, candlestick time frames for you and what time uh, you should be looking at those candlesticks and uh, very useful when it comes to trade entries. Now, um, alongside the Fundament, sorry, the uh, supply and demand um, uh, course. We also have the capture pain relief course. Click on here and it will take you to the capture pain relief trading. So here we go, capture pain relief location trading course. Um, and we also have as well the gallery 
as well. So the, those are, these are the setups here as well as the videos. You know, plenty of videos to watch. And um, also I have a video explainer basically just going over uh, what these um, uh, channels entail. We have a CPR templates where we have plenty of examples of uh, what the really the best CPR trades look like as well as traders who are able to, uh, who want uh, feedback on their charts as well. So you can post your chart and uh, I will provide you with feedback as well as you know some sort of video as well, um, so that you're if you're looking at a trade idea, I can uh, tell you whether you know the things to look for and whether you're on the right track, as well as again a bit of a explainer and a reference point when looking at um, uh, the, the the CPR trade setups, what you need to look for basically in bullet point form. Moving on to the stop hunt manipulation course again just like everything else click on there click on the link and you will see the stop hunt course again with all the videos and the playlist again it's all password protected and then i have again a similar explainer right just uh going through the um uh, what this all is as far as uh, how to utilize the information uh stop hunt templates and what the best stop hunts look like so again it aids you with your learning if the, you're looking for a stop hunt and it doesn't like anything that is provided in this uh, channel then it probably isn't a good stop hunt it has to look similar or exactly like this uh, and these uh, these examples and there's lots of examples in there there's probably you know uh, 40 50 examples in the in this stop hunt and the examples right um stop hunt Again, feedback. So anyone who wants feedback on their stop hunt can post their charts in here and I'll get back to you, uh, make a video um, or give you some feedback as well as, again, just some stop hunt rules uh, that you should abide by. Again, bullet point form It's a checklist. So these are the things that you must look towards when um, looking for and looking at stop hunts. Moving on to the fundamental analysis section, number 20. We have um, the uh, rules to the fundamental analysis game, the, um, the masterclass. And it's a webinar I did where I literally lay out the rules to the fundamental analysis game. This is a must watch. You must watch this when you come into the group if you want to understand about fundamental analysis. I also um, cover um, risk on and risk off. So um, please watch this video here in this risk on a risk off um, explainer as well as um, currency value cycle Got a video explainer there as well. And these are essential watches in order for you to really grasp the ins and outs of um, fundamental analysis. These are the things that you must you know, watch and all these pictures, by the way, are downloadable. You can take a download or a screenshot if you want to. Um, and also once you've done that, I have a short course and test. So when you go from 20, 21, 22 um, and go through those, I have a short course and test video as well as a PDF for you to download. Once you download the PDF, go through the PDF and then there are, I think about eight questions to test your fundamental knowledge and what you've learnt. Um, and then once you've done that, send me a direct message with your answers and then I will give you the password to this um, to this uh, video, which basically is a webinar where we go through all of the uh, questions and I break down uh, what the answers are and why. So um, lots of information there. We've got government bond education. Government bonds are essential and understanding government bonds are essential um, to understanding interest rates, inflation and GDP. And um, this is some extra learning that you definitely need to engage in. Now, um, we also have the fundamental analysis spreadsheet. So fundamental analysis spreadsheet, I have a tutorial video here uh, for, for anyone who uh, wants to know how to use the fundamental analysis spreadsheet and access here. So what you wanna do is click on the link, on the latest link, and then um, from there, 
you'll get access to the spreadsheet. So this will be the, the, the spreadsheet. And um, so we have four tabs, risk on risk off the guide, and then we have economic data, we have the pairs and we have the overview. And the, um, the video will explain exactly how to use the, um, the spreadsheet. And, um, and we have one for the uh, subscribers and one for the lifetime members. Now the lifetime members um, spreadsheet is exactly the same as the, the subscription um, members, but the difference is that the lifetime members get to download their own copy of the version, whereas the subscri subscribers, if you're a, a quarterly subscriber or an annual subscriber, you will only have access via a view only spreadsheet. You can't modify the spreadsheet if you want uh, to modify the spreadsheet in your own way. There are some traders that you know want to, that are technical and they want to add some more things or take away some things on the spreadsheet um, and if you want to do that you'd have to become a lifetime member and then moving down to the relevant channels we have the trading psychology course which is a, a very very essential um, it must really be watched because without trading psychology which is really the most important uh, aspect of trading neither technicals or fundamentals will work in your favor and then we also have the trading psychology um, um, some some extra material to really um, give you the understanding of and um, of, of, of getting your mind right when it comes to statistics win rates um, and uh, and many others things like um, uh, the law of large numbers and random distribution which is essential to understanding uh, 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 and really getting to grips with your trading psychology the next in the chit chat area is the discussion room so this is where I guess a lot of the magic happens and this is where I update um, traders in real time so um, this is where we you know we chat about uh, various different you know subjects and topics um, pretty much daily discussions uh, involved and uh, charts being posted conversations about fundamental analysis uh, links everything is all here and I'm in, in here on a daily basis Monday to Friday um, this is where I provide and we talk about all the information all the trade setups is all right here for traders in the discussion room chart posting rules just some general rules as to uh, you know um, posting and um, some rules to uh, abide by uh, trading videos this is the section where you will be able to see the uh, trading videos the daily trading videos that I uh, post so all trading videos from daily to weekly chart analysis discussion room question and answers live group call recordings fundamental analysis and more is all located in the trading video so um, as you can see I date my videos so I've done two uh, today which is the 7th of January and um, uh, I basically go back through all of the um, I, I post all my videos here and so we've got hundreds of videos for you to go through hundreds and hundreds of videos hundreds of hours of videos too every video is playable also as well we have a search function so if you do want to search for example uh, stop hunt yeah and you want to know about stop hunts a bit more about you know stop hunts we have all the videos in here right about stop hunts if you want to uh, search on uh, CPR right uh, capture pain relief we have videos on capture pain relief if you want to search group calls which we have every every Wednesday yeah we have every Wednesday a live group call zoom call um, in the discussion room in fact uh, I can show you that a bit later but these are all the group calls that we have right and there's loads and loads of group calls every single group call that we've had is all posted in case you can't make the live group call it's it's going to be posted in here so um, lots of information for you guys and um, pretty much daily videos trade setups fundamentals um, and everything you could possibly ask for is all uh, in here as well so all the up-to-date videos um, we have a general trading rules channel so this 
um, is basically 10 rules which I uh, came up with which should help you to really kind of focus on um, really how to trade in a sense that there are universal rules regardless of whether you're trading supply and demand or whether you're trading capture pain relief um, or a combination of you know uh, the two or the three with, with regards to stop hunt trading um, there are general rules that you must adhere to and this is um, pretty much the uh, the channel and the reminder and also as well we have questions for group calls so um, again every Wednesday I have a, a zoom call where traders are invited um, to uh, pose any questions that they may have um, and uh, I will answer them live in the group call and this is the channel for that so you can post your questions and um, and I will get back to you in the group call if I can't do it during the week and as you scroll down, we have um, some analysis uh, channels, so bank analysis resources, and this is where we um, have links to many of the, um, uh, the, 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 the major banks, and uh, we use this as confirmation with our uh, trades, right? Our fundamental trade ideas. So um, we have Citibank, ING, MUFG, Scotia Bank, as well as many, many, many others. Um, and we look at their forecasts and their analysis and match it up really with our fundamental analysis and technical levels. Um, bank analysis research, pretty much the same thing. And then we can go through um, the uh, channels, like for example, Australia. So everything Australia related, what the central bank is doing, whether um, you know Omicron variant is spreading or not, we post news charts in each of these channels, uh, and you know so we can get a really a, a great understanding as to which currencies we should be buying or selling based off of specific news data. And we look at also China, the global economy, gold and silver commodities, because um, intermarket analysis, meaning that a lot of the asset classes are interrelated because money will tend to flow into and out of uh, different asset classes depending on uh, the risk sentiment. So it's important that we do look at commodities, we do look at government bonds, we do look at um, you know gold and silver and the Chinese uh, global economy. We also have COT analysis, although I don't really use COT analysis um, anymore. I did use it for a period. Um, and in fact, I probably end up deleting that channel um, because ultimately, um, COT analysis really kind of just confirms uh, everything that we know about um, you know fundamentals already I know traders do use it and I guess I was kind of talked into using it but it didn't make a difference with my trading I didn't um, find it that uh, useful although it is it can be useful as as um, you know confirmation if you guys want to know where the big money is placed but we generally know where the big money is placed anyway through our fundamental analysis and our bank um, our bank analysis right so um, CLT analysis isn't something that um, is going to be here probably by the time you if you do uh, join uh, we have a news blog uh, central bank watch and um, some financial opinion some other channels and then just finally some essential reading I I advise you guys even if you do not join uh, the, 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 the group and do we want to know about fundamental analysis the art of currency trading by Brent Donnelly is an absolute must buy um, uh, it's uh, it's really probably one of the best books on fundamental analysis um, that I have read and uh, many of the concepts that I use um, I was using them before I read this book, but it just confirms um, the um, my approach to fundamental analysis trading. Brent Donnelly was a market maker for HSBC, and there's some other um, uh, channels in here as far as the books to read, trading in the zone, and the daily uh, trading coach. If you want to look for that, and then we've got uh up, upgrading on your subscription so if you do want to upgrade your subscription meaning that you want to go from maybe a quarterly to a an annual or an annual or quarterly to a lifetime member there is uh you are able to do that right you can do that and um and uh, that's just the channel that basically shows basically how to go about doing that and uh, what the price is etc and then we've got a referral channel if you want to um use trading view um 
uh, there's a trading through view of referral uh, where we both you know uh, can benefit from it if you want to and there's also a referral um, if you refer um, another trader to trading 180 you will get uh, some money off as well so um, you don't obviously have to use it it's just there if you have a friend that is interested in trading and you introduce them then you will get some uh, a, a discount on the uh, on the price so that is the uh, the course comprehensive and um, encompassing um, 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 information of all the uh, the course material that I provide and uh, I hope that clarifies um, a lot if you do have any more questions uh, please just uh, email me um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible take care guys and uh, I look forward to working with you